Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, the limit as x approaches negative 3 of x over a 1 over 3 plus x minus 1 third. And we had to find this limit. Now the first thing I'm going to try to do is see if we can combine this fraction down here. Okay, we really have to simplify this to try to cancel something out. Because right now we have an issue. Negative 3 goes right in for that x, and we're dividing by a 0. And so we can't do that. So to find a common denominator, I'm actually going to multiply this fraction by a 3 over 3. If you can see that right here. Because that's this denominator. And this one I'm going to multiply a x plus 3 over an x plus 3. It's the same thing as a 3 plus x. So now let's go see what happens when we do that. We have the limit as x approaches a negative 3 of x over. Now notice we'll have the same denominator, 3 times an x plus 3. The numerator is just a 3 minus this x plus 3, like so, because 1 times x plus 3 is x plus 3. Now hopefully you can see this here, but that negative sign, if we bring it into both parts, we have a negative x and a negative 3 here. These will cancel. And so we're left with now the limit as x approaches a negative 3 of x over a negative x over a 3x plus 3. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to kind of rearrange that division. I don't like the multiple division stuff. What does that equal here? Well, this limit, as x approaches a negative 3, is equal to, all right, if we put the x out here, that first one, and instead of dividing by this fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. Multiply by a 3x plus 3 over a negative x. And what this allows me to do is cancel out these x values. So we're left with the limit as x approaches a negative 3 of a negative, don't forget that down here, 3x plus 3. And now we can evaluate the limit right there at negative 3. We can plug it in. Negative 3 times a negative 3 goes in plus 3. Well, negative 3 plus 3 is just a 0. So negative 3 times 0, you guessed it, is 0. And so my final answer here for this limit is 0. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math.